they 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 turn they get the internet for five minutes and the first thing they go to is Pornhub. That's Porn. easy. <laughs> yeah, that shit is crazy. But we do got Judah Naz in the building. I don't know what he want to ask or talk about, but uh, the floor is yours, brother. Shalom, Captain Desar. I can Captain Captain Desar. How y'all brothers doing today? Hey, Shalom. Yeah, we doing good. We straight. Uh, I just had a, a qu quick question for you guys. Come on, Cap. Quit saying I'm, I'm chasing you too. Come on, brother. You know I don't do that, bro. Oh, Come on. I'm like, why am I struggling to hear today? You said quit saying what? Well, you'd be like, uh, Judah's been chasing me for years. Come on, man. You have. I mean, you on my channel. I ain't never been on your channel. Well, yeah, well, that's because all the big dogs come to my channel. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna say, wait, wait. I'm a sidebar, Judah. I'm gonna give it right back to you. This cat, Judah, he suffers from um some type of narcissistic complex. I'm gonna explain what I mean. We was on Sinetta's channel together. Well, Sinetta called me while Judah Naz is on his channel. And so Judah Naz starts saying he battled the big dogs. Kadaza, I'm gonna name who he said. <coughs> He said, Lord Abba was his big dog. Laron Campbell was his big dog. Those are the type of people he named. So I said, well, you know, the Polites, the Jabaris and stuff like that in the conscious community world, those would be the big dogs. Lord Abba used his own book as a source in a battle. <laughs> He's not a big dog. So like Judah, I don't want to get into like who chasing who. We ain't even got to talk. And you could tell Judah's bothered by that because that's the first thing he said on here. I didn't say that today. I didn't say that today, Judah. I said we got Judah in the chat. Let's bring him up here, see what he want to talk about. So we ain't got to talk about who's more popular or not. You know, but you know the, the floor is yours. Go ahead, Kadaza. The only thing I was gonna say, you know, like midway through a debate with Laron, the cat Mazark was talking to him. He said, You know what? Uh, I don't know, and just started asking questions. And cat proceeded. Yeah, I was to teaching him. Yeah, for teaching that nigga. And that's your big dog. <laughs> so you must be the runt of the litter. Go ahead, though. All right. Th thank you, fellas. Um, actually, I didn't really get a chance to, to list off all the people. All the bodies I collected uh over the years. I just named uh uh G Con um uh who Lord Abba to Harka Bay, um Evoke Hab Malone, uh Soul Real, Chris Harris, JJ Seven Thousand, Jabari, all those dudes are all my grandkids. The whole Egyptian conversation came over on HOK is because of me. Smash Rockwell owed me five hundred dollars. He got bodied. Uh Ankh West, uh Garfield ran. This is this is nothing new. I've been whooping up on everybody for the what? I started what 10, 000, 2012 on YouTube. Y'all ain't seen me get rinsed on. Y'all seen me rinsing everybody. I be beating up people by the Great Millstone by myself, GOCC by myself. Hey, hey Judah, I've never seen anything that you've done, unless you now if it was on like like if it was on Sinetta's channel or something like that, I might have. But as far as you personally, I don't really know much about you be honest except interactions i've seen on hok that's why i said we don't have to talk about who's big dog because you're not going to compare to me but it doesn't matter um so let's just get to whatever question you have for the show i like your microphone right. though Th thank you brother good. Just thank he you. like holding that mic to his mouth you see him cut his he holding that mic right to his mouth pause I'm just, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. Come on, Judah. Come on, Judah. Y'all know this is the same microphone I rock when I be uh, uh rocking the mic with the right hand and grabbing y'all straight oh. to the left. Y'all oh, know how oh. I get down, Judah Naz. Is you said Gab grabbing it. No. I, I don't know if I would say what you're saying right now. Can you just get to the question? All right, all right, all right. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I get it. We got Cheech and Chong, Katazar, Tazariak over here. You gotta try to make jokes. I get it. I Why get we it. gotta be weed heads though? Why we gotta be? <laughs> I mean, the, the, I, mean the I know you talk about the camaraderie. I know you talk about the camaraderie. I, yeah. I know what you mean. I, I, know, I, mean. You know, I know. I know. I, I'm the weed head. So um, um yeah. uh -huh. That's why I'm so deep. But look, um, uh, real quick. Wait, weed who said heads are not deep? deep? That's the first problem. Have you ever heard our teachings, Tazariak? No, I already said no. Oh, okay. So you don't be around the big dogs. That's what I'm telling you. You come around the big dogs, you're gonna be I've, like, yeah, like this dude. I've been no around nothing, brother. I just you see, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, everybody listen, it's gonna be the third time I'm gonna make this statement. This is how you know he's chasing me. I said it doesn't matter who we've been around. Let's get to your question you have, and you keep coming trying to prove you don't have to prove. I know you listen, I know you're looking at your daddy, so you want to prove your worth to me. 
but you can stop, keep running down the names and people. Okay, if you want to impress me, you're never going to impress me. So if you could just get to your question, this is the third time I'm saying, just get to your question, brother. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Grandson, check this out. There we go. All right. So uh, the first question is, um, is Jesus Christ um, the high priest of the Melchizedek priesthood? Yeah. Where might this priesthood be located? What do you mean? If he's the high priest now, where is it located? Well, right now, Christ hasn't returned. But he is the priest. He is the high priest that we are under. Where is he ministering? He doesn't have to minister. We're the ministers. That's what he sent us for. He sent us out to do the job. Like in Matthew 28, the last chapter, when he told them to um, go out and uh, teach, that's him telling us to do the job. He's, he doesn't have to do it. We do it. So Jesus Christ is not a high priest. I don't see how you got that. I answered the question about the high priest. You said, why is he not ministering? I said, he doesn't minister. And I'm assuming that you talk about why isn't he down here doing the work? Okay. No. What do you mean by ministering? Because Paul says we have a, uh, we have a high priest in the heavens who intercedes on our behalf. Okay. Can you give me the verse you're talking about? Um, I have to look it up. I'm not a new is it Hebrews seven. Uh, actually, you know what? I've been studying Hebrews. I think that it might be. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'll see if I can find it for you. Um, but that again, when it says intercedes for us, that's interceding between us and the most high. That's not talking about interceding and, um, priestly work. So, oh, so do you guys have priests? Yeah, I'm a priest. You're looking at one. Kadazah is a priest. But the, the Torah says we don't have priests. You got to tell me what you're talking about. Uh, the, the book of Hosea says you should not have a, a, a like a, a priest, a teraphim. Uh, I forgot how to exactly. Can you record. give me the verse? Like when I say, like if you could not paraphrase and just you take me, you said in Hosea, right? Yes. Okay. Hosea uh, what? For many days. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. I'm going to many... try to search for it with you days the children of israel i'm sorry taking so long uh, hosea three and four or i think yeah. it started three i heard you say many days so i'm assuming that was in there yes so it says for the children of israel shall abide many days without a king without a prince without a sacrifice without an image without an ephod without a teraphim i don't see where it says we shall be without a priest though but we don't have a priest to it Wait, but remember your question. Listening is an art. You said the scriptures say we wouldn't have a priest. That scripture that you brought us to just says we would be without a king, which is our king is Christ, without a prince, without a sacrifice, without an image, without an ephod, without a teraphim. It doesn't say we would be without a priest. Who wears the ephod? You would have to tell me. I know. I never said we had an ephod. But the high priest wears the ephod. Okay, but I never said we had an ephod. Also, no, I, I, know, but I hear you. No, I hear you. But Hosea says we shall go many days without one, which means since we don't have a high priesthood, we don't have a high priest to wear the ephod, the kashan. You're saying that we don't have a high. You're saying that we don't have a high priest because you don't adhere to the New Testament. For those of us that adhere to the New Testament, Christ is our priest after the order of Melchizedek, which is the only reason I could even make the statement to say that I'm a priest. The only reason I can make that statement is because we're priests under that priesthood, not the Levitical priesthood. So again, just for the record, you have not taken us to a verse that says we should have no priest. I'll search the word no priest just to see if maybe it's somewhere else you just didn't know where it was at. I'll try to help you beat me. No, you don't you need to help me. I'm a master. Beat us, I could say. No, I don't well, you you wrong already. You just you just uh misquoted the scripture. Oh, actually, I, I uh, don't have my tour right in front of me. Can you pass me my, my tour? Because I can. Are you uh, saying you came unprepared? No, I'm always prepared. See, right? See this big book right here with the tape on it. This is what I use to. Somebody had to print. So, like Hosea four and six, is maybe it says, "My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children." Is that? Is that what you're referencing? 
No, I, I'm referencing the uh, what you just read. Uh, the the many for many days the children of Israel should not have a priest to teraphim an ephod. Mm -hmm. Prince means we will not have a king, and we will not have a high priest. Right, but even in the even in the New Testament, was there a high priest in the New Testament besides Christ? Uh, those were all fake. No, they were appointed by Rome. Um, that's not the question that I asked you. Okay, no. Okay, emphatically no. And, but Caiaphas was called the high priest. He was called that, but he wasn't. But you said they shall go days without one. Ro the you say, maybe, maybe if you want to be spiritual, if you want to say days without one, meaning not appointed by the most high. Is that what yeah, you mean? Or are you talking about the, the high priesthood given uh, to Moses and Aaron is given by God. Uh, Caiaphas that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to see. If you're saying that uh, that they had a high priest, but that wasn't ordained by God, is that what you're saying? No, that's not what I'm saying. It's it's like saying that'd be like saying Herod is the king over Israel. He wasn't. He's just uh, appointed by Rome. So, okay, like, that that analogy. I don't understand why um, it's hard for you to understand what I'm saying because what you just broke out about Herod is what I'm saying. I said, are you saying that Caiaphas was not a high priest because it wasn't ordained by God? The answer yeah, can I, only be yes. Yes. Right. That's what I'm. Yeah. That's the. That's what I'm saying. Listen. Maybe I don't know if you just can't comprehend me. So no, now I, in the I, new text, it's very easy to understand. We don't have a high priest. No problem. But you couldn't understand that question until I had to break it down in ABC fashion. So in Hebrews, the seventh chapter, Christ is our priest. And the verse that you brought us to did not say that we shall go days without a priest. It just okay. said without a king, without a prince, without an ephod. The, the only king to wear ephod was King David because he was a priest king. But So kings did not wear ephods. That was strictly for the high priest. So it's saying we will not. I never said priest. Christ would wear ephod. I just said Christ oh. was a priest after the order of Melchizedek. Okay, so that was my, my main my, okay. hold on, that was my main point. Can you show me where the is the high priesthood of I'm sorry, is the Melchizedek priesthood over the Levitical priesthood? Yeah. The, 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 Melchizedek, the, the Melchizedek priesthood is what we were supposed to be initially. We wasn't supposed to be a Levitical priesthood. Can, we can was you show always me that in the Torah? we was always supposed to be a nation of priests. That's what we were supposed to be. Can you show me that Say in the, the Torah about the Melchizedek priesthood? I'm not, I'm no, I'm, I'm well, I don't, I'm not going to say Melchizedek priesthood, but I can show you that we're supposed to be a kingdom of priests. And that, right. and we know that you, you agree with that, right? That we initially we were supposed to be a kingdom of priests, right? In the future, not now. No, no, no. I'm talking about before the Levitical priesthood. Were we supposed to be a kingdom of priests? And is that written in the Torah? Is my question to you? Uh, yes. Okay, then, so let's don't but, say but that not, I'm hold on, but not to each other for the Gentiles. No, no, yes, that's why we're going to bring the Torah to Gentiles, all the nations in the book of Gentiles. Isaiah. Don't Gentiles don't have nothing to do with it, so then why work? So, so this is what I mean when I say I got to break it down in kindergarten fashion. So, why weren't we a nation of priests? Why, excuse me, why weren't we a kingdom of priests, even though it's written in Exodus? Because the first high priest was Moses, who who uh, had the office for seven days, and then he inaugurated uh, Aaron and his sons. So also during the time of the golden calf, when uh, when uh, Moses said, "All those for Yahweh stand up by me," the Levites stood with Moses, stood then, with him, right, right. So right, that wasn't the whole nation. You, you kind of just walk, but you just walk right into that body bag. I mean, when oh. I say walked into it, all I got to do is just zip it up. Because you're acknowledging what you're saying is you're acknowledging that we were supposed to be a kingdom of priests. That's multiple tribes being priests. The reason why the Levites got the priesthood is because of the golden calf. And then Levi joined themselves to the Lord. And then the Levitical priesthood was established. But the initial priesthood that we were supposed to be under is a kingdom, meaning it didn't matter what tribe you was from, that you can be a priest. That's what Exodus 19 and 16 says. Excuse me, 19 and 6 says. It says, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, not a tribe, but a kingdom of priests. But in Exodus, the 32nd chapter, which we agree, which you brought it up, which you walked into the body bag, Levi joined themselves to the Lord. And so they became the priesthood. So Christ coming, and the reason why it's referencing 
Melchizedek is because you read about Melchizedek in the Psalms. In Psalms 110, you read that it's a priest after the order of Melchizedek. So they always knew that the Melchizedek priesthood was coming and Christ is the high priest of that priesthood. And it said forever. Okay, so so you're clearly uh you're trying to P Diddy up, remix the scriptures. That's not what it says. You know, I'm 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 unbody baggable. Um, my uh my like I said, I know some, he uh, said I'm unbody baggable, meaning after he done walked into it, he's saying I can't get out the body bag. Right. So, you know, so what I do so what I do is I just get some uh, uh some uh plastic spork and just cut that open and walk out and then put you in it. Now, if you go to the scripture, it says shall be, which is a future tense. You shall be a treasured people and a nation of priests, right? So there was always supposed to be a, a, a priesthood with Levi being chosen. Didn't say nothing about Melchizedek. It don't say nothing about treasure. It just says, ye shall be unto me. This is where I'm going to start at verse five. Okay. It says, now, therefore, if ye obey my voice indeed and keep my commandment, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. It's not future as something that's taking place two and three thousand years later. It's something that was supposed to take place then. Just like Deuteronomy 28 said, if we kept the law, statute, commandments, we would be above all nations. That's not something that takes place two thousand years later. That's something that takes place then. Sidebar, Judah, before you respond, this guy, Tyrone, the truth, got a weird homosexual obsession with Cross the Line Radio. I, I, I'm going to go, I'm going I'm to tell you, I'm going to go into the cross the line block list and I'm telling y'all all I'm just going to say Tyrone, 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 something, some form of Tyrone, like I'm Tyrone, Tyrone, if you listening, brother, just stop, just give it up, brother. We don't want to talk to you. But when you say that's, that's some futuristic thing, that's not, just not the case. All right. So you're actually, you're wrong because uh, when you go into the Yahweh Dayaf language, there's no such thing as Hebrew, by the way. Uh, it, it clearly says it says. Said, wait, 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 back up. You said you said there's no such thing as Hebrew. Yeah, there's no such thing as Hebrew. There, that word does not appear one time in the Torah. But I know you want to switch the topic. But back to wait, language. when you say oh. don't appear. Wait, 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 wait. When you say there's no, doesn't it call Abram the Hebrew? Yeah. Yeah, Kadaza. What's up, Kadaza? Yeah, Kadaza. What? Yeah, what's up? Because you know the Torah. He said. He said, this, he said. He, he, he said. He said that. Uh huh. That is he said. There's no Hebrew. Hebrew is not in the Torah. I said, is Ab don't they call Abram the Hebrew? He said, yeah. He also said that you know what I'm saying. Moses was the first priest when Melchizedek was priest before the, Moses was well, born. Right. I, mean, I, don't, I don't really. Yeah. I yeah. Know, you know, Melchizedek wasn't an Israelite for one. Two. The word Hebrew. This question was wasn't about priest. Israelite. It was about priests. It was, it was about the priesthood. Right, but I'm talking hmm. about I'm talking about Melchizedek versus Levi. He said Tazariok said that the Melchizedek priesthood, which is Mormon, by the way, is higher than the Levitical priesthood. But you can't find the Melchizedek priesthood. I did not nowhere. say it's higher. That's not what I said. Like it's, we got like li li listening is an art. Yes, I you said Melchizedek it. priesthood right, it was works. before. It was well, it before. It, was, it actually works. You said earlier that the Melchizedek priesthood is higher than or or superior or. In usage, I did not the Levitical because that's the first no, question I asked you. That's not what I said. What I said was the Melchizedek priesthood was before, and I said, and what I what I actually said was we were supposed to have the Melchizedek priesthood before the Levitical priesthood, and then you asked me to show you that in Torah, and I said I can't show you the word Melchizedek. But I did substantiate my position by saying we were supposed to be a nation of priests by providing that in Torah by providing Psalms 110 in Torah and then showing Christ is after that. And then you said Moses was the first priest and Kadaza assisting with the body bags that you, we just stabbing you while you in the body bag because you said Moses was the first priest when he wasn't. Melchizedek was the first priest. I said high priest. Mel who? Melchizedek wasn't the first high priest? No, he was just a priest. Who do you and pay you want, and, and you guys well, hold on, hold on. Two, one, let me, let me start because you guys are, are uh, uh, I know you don't like this word, y'all shuckle bucking and doing the mashed potato, and that's okay. We, we that's where we get y'all get y'all dancing instead of fighting. Number one, again, the word Hebrew from the Greek word Hebraikos does not appear in the Torah and the prophets. That's a Greek word. The language that we speak is called Yahweh Dayath, which you would translate modern as Judith, 
in, in the feminine, right? It's Yahweh Yath, which just means the language of Judea. Hebraicos is a is Hebrew is a Greek word. When you go into he, to uh, Abraham and them, he's called Ha Abare. Abare, you know, Abar means to cross. Greek does not differentiate between the Aleph and the Ayan. They just make a it sound. So there is no Hebrew. That's not the name of our language. Okay, great. Now, now do me a favor. Tell me in English. You understand who you pay? Who you supposed to pay tithes to? We're not supposed to pay tithes to anybody. We don't have a priesthood. Okay, so so this is what I want to know then. Then why did Abraham pay tithes to Melchizedek? Uh, show me the Torah where Abraham paid tithes to Melchizedek because you only got that from Paul. He gave him a tenth of everything that he got from the spoils to a priest. What is a tenth? It, it's a it's a, a, a tithe. But guess who gave the oh, wait, 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 Focus, focus. You just said, show me where he paid tithes. I said, what is tithes? You said a tenth. And Abraham gave a priest a tenth of okay. all. Show me I the Torah. Show me the Torah where Abraham gave the, gave the well, I didn't you hold do up. it. Because, hold up. Because, hold up. I, know, I know it hurts. I know no, it, it hurts. It doesn't hurt. It is, it's I know, it this, this is, I know this embrace the pain. Talk. It doesn't embrace, listen. The Torah embrace, does not embrace it. I have I have the scripture. The Torah does not say Abraham gave the Torah doesn't say that. Abraham wasn't doing anything. The only person doing something was Melchizedek. He came out and brought our bread and the wine. To who? I, I, who got, it? I got it. I got it. Oh, I got it. Right to you. No, no, so, let's let the word of God speak. No, you said you love the Torah. I love the Torah too. This is Genesis no, you don't. 14 chapter. You, you hate the Torah. Wait, hold on. Girl, let's read the word of hey, God. Just let the scripture, let's let the scripture be read, brother. You said okay. he didn't pay tithes. Let's see who's a liar. Let's see. Genesis 14 and 18. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be the Most High God, which had delivered thine enemies into thy hand. And he gave him tithes of all. Abraham's, Melchizedek's giving it to Abraham. You see how easy that was? Abraham's not doing anything. Hey, listen. In Japan, they call that step two. Abraham didn't do anything. No Did you hear what he said, Kadaza? Look, 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 look. They try to overtalk me. Abraham didn't do anything. No, Catholic's coming out bringing out bread and wine. Look, yeah, don't leave, Kadaza. Come back here and get this, this, this tail whooping. Abraham didn't do anything. It's Melchizedek bringing out the bread and the wine. Yeah, oh, this guy's not going to work. You, you're going to get your head clapped off too. Abraham's not saying anything or doing anything. Melchizedek's coming out, bringing out the bread and the wine. And guess what he did? He gave a tenth to Abraham. Just like the, 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 the Canaanite dudes, the kings, what were they trying to do? They were trying to give their spoils to who? Abraham. Abraham was like, I'm not taking nothing from y'all. So Abraham didn't give nothing. That was Melchizedek giving... Uh, tithes to to Abraham. The only reason why you guys think it's Abraham doing it to Melchizedek is because you get that from Edomite Paul. Y'all don't know the Torah. I told you. Stay off that New Testament. It's just a who, stumble. Hold on. This is what, this is what I want to know. In this chapter, who was the priest? Abraham. Hold on. Hold on. Who in this chapter, who was labeled as a priest? A, uh, Melchizedek. Melchizedek was labeled as a priest. Okay. And this was after a battle, correct? Yep. And Abraham was victorious in this battle, correct? Yep. And he got spoils from this battle, correct? Yeah, I don't know about all that. Oh, that, did he, well, yeah, 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 he got some, yeah. I don't know about all that. No, yeah, no that's exactly yeah, what sir, he did. Sir, let's get to who brought out the bread and the wine and the tithes. Oh, oh, hold, wait, hold on one second. I, yeah, gotta, I know. We're going to hold on like in vogue. I know. I told you. Tour Knights, the Mafia. Uh-huh. Let's get the reading. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't see cut as I had a cut. No, I'll keep reading. It is. It's not yeah, a big. Keep reading. Deal. Let's see what Abraham's doing. Abraham ain't doing nothing. Eight. So in Genesis 19, 14 and 9, 19, and he blessed him and said, "Blessed be Abraham of the Most High God, which is what priests do, possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be the Most High God, which have delivered thine enemies into thy hand." You're not the truth, Liana. You're gonna end up. You're gonna talk down the scripture. I'm sorry, you asked the heathen talking like he knows. You're gonna the Torah. talk, but you're gonna talk during the script. 
Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm talk- sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. And li- go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Go ahead and lie on the tour. Go ahead. That's Satanism. But you're gonna interrupt doing that. What Satanism is interrupting while I'm reading the scripture, and and you and you. It was funny is you interrupting to talk to people that ain't even talking to you to talk to the chat. Uh, you highlighted a heathen who's not in the truth. I said I'm a goofy. I don't know what heathen. He's not you're even in the about. truth. No one knows it's just bomb. I don't know. Right. So you want to talk to the chat? Cause you ain't got to stay on the live. I like mean, if you, I mean, you can always kick me off. It's no problem. We're going to clip this and clap you guys anyway. Hey, but, well, why would you interrupt while I'm just reading the scripture? Sir, because you, you interrupt me all the time. In, what do you mean? But I'm sorry. I've I'm, never I'm interrupt. Muted. We don't I'm interrupt muted. when scriptures is read. I'm going to mute again. Thank you. Genesis 4. Kadazai, you was finished. Bre- you was breaking it down. Do you want to finish or you want me to do it? I, I mean, I mean, if if you don't mind, just this one point. Yeah, come on, come on. The tithes are paid to a priest. Abraham just got gained. That's what you pay tithes on. You pay tithes on increase and earnings. Melchizedek did not just come out of absolutely nowhere for no reason other than, you understand, for this blessing and for these tithes to the priest of the Most High as it proclaimed. So for you to turn around, because here's what I'm saying. Melchizedek didn't come with spoils. He didn't have an increase in earnings. You know who had the increase? <laughs> Abraham had the increase from the victory. So the tithes was paid to the priest proclaimed in the chapter. You don't know what you're reading. All right. So you can clearly see these dudes are committing a coup online. They cannot show on the Torah where it says that Abraham gave him anything. It says, wait, wait, no, that's not true, Judah. The- where, where we differ, this, this, this is a disagreement. Just yeah. when you say can't prove, the disagreement is that you look at and he gave tithes of all as Melchizedek giving tithes to Abraham. We look at that he gave tithes of all as Abraham giving tithes to Melchizedek. Our preface is Abraham is the one that gathered spoils of war. And so he has something to give to the priests. That's our position. So you can't say that we're not using the Torah. We disagree on the term and he gave him tithes of all. So you can, don't say we didn't read out of the Torah. Okay. So Let that sizzle are, in your spirit. No, <laughs> no, you guys are getting cut and I know it hurts. It clearly <laughs> has Melchizedek speaking and doing all the action. Abraham's not saying a word. Abraham. He doesn't do anything until verse 22. You guys are getting your doctrine from Paul that Abraham gave a tithe to Melchizedek. It doesn't say that in the Torah. Melchizedek's doing all the talking and doing all the action. Abraham's not saying anything until verse 22. Neither neither Melchizedek nor Abraham is talking. So in 20, like if somebody narrates, so it says, and he blessed him and said, blessed be, that's Melchizedek talking. After he speaks, Abraham gives the tithes because that's what you do. You pay tithes to a priest. Abraham is not a priest to receive tithes. What was Abraham? Abraham is the father of our faith. He's the one that got the covenant. He is not a priest. What was his father? It doesn't say. Unless you want to, can you show me in the scripture what his father is? Terrence's father was his father was a, he, father was a heathen. heathen. He was a he heathen. Was a, heathen pri- a heathen priest. I mean, no, when I'm saying heathen, I don't want nobody to think that I'm saying he wasn't one of us. He was one of us, but he didn't serve God. He wasn't a God. He wasn't a priest under God. Right. So, okay, no, so he's not a priest. So if, if wait, wait, hold on. If Abraham's father is not a priest under God, then he's not a priest. I don't care what false God he was following. He was not a priest. So Abraham was not a priest to receive. Only priests received tithes. So. The only person that's a priest in this story is Melchizedek. And, and if that's the case, we can see where Melchizedek... Yo, he's just in that body bag dying, yo. There's no body bag. Abraham's not saying anything. He's not doing anything. Y'all lying. The Torah, don't say Abraham that. Abraham is not a priest, man. A, do you know what a priest is? A priest is a minister. Abraham had people under him. What are you talking about? You lying. Show, no, he had, David had people... Yeah, show go ahead, any, go anywhere, anywhere where Abraham was called this priest. Yeah, he's so, not called. He's not called a priest. He's not called a priest. I give you that. He's not, but he's from. He's from a priesthood. I'm gonna make a clip. See, out of you, this, this, is from, this is called lack of study. 
Terah, who is Abraham's father, was a priest. Abraham comes from a, from a line of priests, whether they were, were uh, beneath heathens, what I mean by non-believers, he's Watch still wait, 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 right, wait. he's getting cut. So, oh, so he can't, listen, hold on. No, Ricardo's out, let him finish. Oh, and just, I got the, I, oh, I got a killer. Go ahead. Go ahead you. you don't have anything because you use Paul, you're still going to die. Now, when, when Abraham went into the land, Melchizedek was a Shemite priest. He wasn't a Canaanite. Right, so I don't. I don't go by Jewish commentary about all that. I don't go by all that. But some has claimed that he's Shem, right? Could be because he uh, uh, he outlived um, Abraham, by the way. But anyway, the point of the matter is 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 uh, Abraham had people up under him. He even had a whole army. He was a minister. That's all that Kahan means is just a minister. And it said that what Abraham had what he had the Torah before the Torah was given to Moses. Abraham had it. He kept my Torah. He kept my commandments in the Howard the language. It says it in the Torah. So it doesn't say anything about Abraham giving Melchizedek anything. You guys are quoting Paul and Paul is always wrong because he didn't believe in the Torah like y'all. OK, so now I'm going to respond. Right now, just think about how we started here. Right. He's saying that. We, we was going to be without a priest during the Melchizedek priesthood. So when I read John, the 11th chapter, and I said, uh, Caiaphas was a priest. The first thing he said was, no, he was not because he was set up by the Romans and he wasn't set up by God. So I said to him, I said, so you're saying he was not a priest because it wasn't ordained by God. He said, yes. So I said, OK, we'll go by your logic. And so now we're in Genesis, the 14th chapter. We didn't read in Hebrews, the seventh chapter. We read Genesis, the 14th chapter. He's saying Abraham is a priest because his father was a priest. And he's acknowledging that his father didn't obey God. So how is Caiaphas not a priest? Because that wasn't set up by God. But now for him to win this stupid ass argument, he wants Abraham's father, who we don't have a scripture to know if he's a priest or not. He wants Abraham to be his priest. Because Abraham's father was a priest for a false god. Y'all see the stupidity here, Kadazai? Do you see the stupidity here? No, I do because because this this is this is what I was gonna say before. The whole point of even why he turned around and said that Abraham crossed over was because Abraham left his father. When we read here, it said Mel Melchizedek was a priest of the Most High God. Abraham's father was a priest of the Chaldeans, which means this is why Abraham left to begin with. And with what you're so you reading, Abraham didn't respect that God either. That no, they were serving. he left their gods and came to serve the true God. That's why he paid tithes to Melchizedek, a true priest. 